Who is Kilch? This has been a question on Rec Room for the last couple of years, but I don't think anyone's ever found the answer. But I don't know if people have properly tried to look into it. When I say coach, I don't mean um, the Reckham account or anything like that. I mean the voice. Who is the voice of coach? Hi, I'm Deck Deck 12 and I'm going to try to answer that question for you today. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. I started with what I know. I've already looked Rec Room up on IMDb before and saw that um, Cameron Brown directed uh, Mercenaries as well and that Amy Lee is there. I have a video on Amy Lee's like voice lines on both games, yada yada yada, so that's how I found that out. Um, but I tried to go and contact, but as you'll see, it, it, it didn't let me. It told me I have to be an IMDb Pro, which uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not like, you know, cool enough, apparently. So it didn't let me contact her. Um, I also sent back a message, you know, just asking for information. And yeah. Rec Room. Join the fun for free. For those of you that don't know, Cameron Brown is Gribbly, by the way, from the AMAs. I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know. It shows up later, but uh, this is all the stuff that Cameron Brown worked on and directed. So, yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. I also remember that Gribbly had a Instagram account, so I decided to go over there and see if there would be anything of use, but sadly there wasn't. Here's um, Gribbly from the AMAs. Gribbly is the one on the right with the uh, magnificent cap. So, yeah. So, what I'm scrolling through now is uh, Cameron Brown on Wikipedia, and it gave me a lot of cool like articles and all this and like links and all and just stuff relating to him and the games he's worked on so i just i went through everything on the wikipedia and just saw if there was anything useful here's a picture of cameron i found out on one of the links from the wikipedia and i thought it could be of some interest to you guys uh, this is him years ago from mercenaries Okay, this discovery is actually quite cool. I actually managed to find a video of uh, Cameron for Mercenary speaking. So I thought that was pretty cool. So here you see me, I'm playing Matthias on the right there. I've got. Here it is in full screen. Hi there, my name's Cameron Brown. I'm the director on Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. And I'm Scott, one of the lead designer. And today we're back with one of our Zero Rules videos. A couple of weeks back we showed you guys uh, three ways to play the same mission, right? Each merc had a kind of different take on awesome destructive action to tackle the same mission. I also managed to find a picture of Cameron Brown from 2018, I believe. Uh, this was for an interview for VR game. Right? It's literally never empty. <laughs> it's, um, it's, uh, there's, there's people in it all the time. Now we can compare the two pictures, and I think uh, by paying close attention to some of the facial details, uh, you can tell it's the same person. Uh, we can also compare the voices from the interview and the uh, video I found on Mercenaries. Hi there, my name's Cameron Brown. I'm the director on Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. Literally never empty. <laughs> it's, um, it's, uh, th there's, there's people in it all the time. Safe to say they're the same. I then decided to go back and look at some of Fiona Taylor, Amy Lee's lines of Mercenaries. I found out my video is the first thing that came up, so, uh, thank you. Lights off, please. Lights off, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. Okay, well, today the board is voting on the Sung Initiative. 
This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for XOPS, but it's high risk. North Korea is a quagmire, the Allies are stuck in it, and it's all because of this man here. Yes, we I also decided to message Cameron on Instagram just in case, because honestly at this point, I couldn't think of anything else to do. Everything else I had planned out and I just did most of it in the one day, just while I wasn't home by the way, that's why some of this is screen recorded. And I got frozen for a while, I didn't know where to go. And then I started thinking, oh, what if I check who Fiona Taylor had dialogue with in Mercenaries? ETA? You're about 10 minutes from the DMZ drop zone. Glad to hear your voice on the line. Wouldn't have made it through Iraq without you. This is where I made some shocking discoveries about Jennifer and what she's voice acted in. quite funny that the person she shares dialogue with is named Fiona. Just like in Mercenaries, I found that quite funny. Here is that her voice in comparison with the old voice actor. To be honest, I can't tell if they're the same person or not, so yeah. Here's another video I found while looking at uh, Fiona Taylor lines. Welcome to Venezuela. Solana's paperwork arrived, so we're good to go. I've hacked into a CIA satellite. I can see you and most of the area around you. I'm working off a laptop connected to a cell phone here, so don't expect miracles. Leave the miracles to me, you just keep me pointed in the right direction. I looked it up to see if that's the same voice actor as uh, the Fiona in the first game, because that's in the second game, and it's not. I had a feeling it wasn't because the way some of the words were said were different, so it would appear that Amy Lee didn't, uh, didn't voice in the second game, which was released in 2008, so yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe she just didn't want to, she uh, wasn't bothered, or uh, she wasn't asked and was replaced. So, yeah, on screen now, by the way, is a bunch of the things that some of the actors have done uh, that were in Mercenaries. The voice of Cody, yeah, here, Finn, Finn, I found it. Oh. One that we always try to get confirmation on, the voice of Coach is actually Cameron Brown's wife. What the fuck up? If it is, then that that's her. Right? Amy Lee. Where? Hold on, look. Where? Hold on. Where? No, where? Not on your screen, bitch. Oh, I thought you fucking saw Amy Lee. I was about to say, no. Did we do it? <laughs> no way. What? Are you showing your screen? We've solved the puzzle. Ribley following Amy Lee. Oh, shit. Oh shit! If the profile picture was just her, the one, the one. Yeah. I'm like I'm I'm Ribley. Well, instead, it's my cat being drowned. <laughs> <laughs> what 
before. <laughs> so of course I decided to message Amy Lee uh, to no response, of course. Then I saw Rackham responded with very valuable information, but then they also responded after that again and gave me something that could be leading on to something good. So I had to see for myself. I felt like Rec Room just trolled me. They just sent me backwards. I already knew Amy Lee. That's what the point of this was, to find out who Amy Lee was. So, I then decided to ask them the even bigger question at hand. And, yeah. Oh, here. Fucking kidding me. They left me on fucking scene. Oh, like, that was it. This whole video that I've been working on for like two months, the answer was right there. Grasp my hand. It's gone. Left that scene. Don't want to give me the answer. Or maybe whoever was messaging me did not have the answer themselves. So fuck. It's kind of a bummer, really, but nothing can be done about it. So, how do we conclude this video? So, I have a theory. I think Amy Lee is Gribbley's wife, or Cameron Brown's wife. Cameron Brown, of course, as you saw in the video, made Mercenaries and Rec Room and other games as well, directed them. And, in my eyes, it makes sense that for the first game of Mercenaries, Amy Lee voice acted in it, right? But not the second. I think it makes sense that you'd ask your closest friends, well not closest friend, but just friends to, you know, voice act in this thing you're working on first, even if they have no experience. Because Amy Lee doesn't seem like she had experience. Which isn't bad at all. And maybe she didn't want to do voice acting in the second one. So, she didn't. Uh, then, what, like, what's it, 11 years later or something, Reckon came out? And she decides to give it another go. And she became coach, as we all know and love. And the reason her and Gribbly are still talking is because the husband and wife. I, I think that makes sense. Also very, very impressive how so many people with such like, big careers now, or like, well, you wouldn't know them, they're not like top tier famous, but still, that have voice acted in so many stuff. And just all in that Mercenaries game. That is incredible. Of course, they wouldn't have been of uh, like as popular back then. They wouldn't have even had like much experience. That's years ago. But you can really see how one can de uh, develop over time. So I think I'm gonna leave you there. If you ever get any updates, uh, my Instagram is decadent12. No spaces, no capitals. Give me a DM if you ever have any updates or any theories or anything you want to share. Or even leave them in the comments, actually. I read all the comments, you can leave them there. I'll be sure to have a look at them, because, I don't know, maybe I'm just looking too far into this. But I don't want to invade uh, Cameron's personal life, by the way, or Amy Lee's, or anyone I've mentioned in this video. So don't go DMing them this, that, and the other. You know? Leave them to their privacy. You know? I think that's all I have for you today. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Omae wa mou. Shin de yu.